Hi, it's Robin again, and I'd like to read you a poem that's very important to me. It's, um, it's very personal, and I tried to make it into a song. I, I don't think it fit very well, and I was quite emotional about it, so I thought I'd do it over again. Okay? All right. Um... It's about the drought in Africa. And as you know, I hope you know, maybe you don't, but 800,000 people have died from this drought so far. Uh, it didn't start in Somalia. And it started in Dadaab, which is next to Kenya. Um, on the Horn of Kenya, they walked five days, it started three years ago, this drought, uh, to these refugee camps. And the families, um, the, the mothers have to choose which children can live so they can get water and something to eat. Uh, the BBC itself said that um, there were babies' bodies lying in the street. It was like a vision of hell. Well, I don't believe in hell. I believe that people on earth make our hells. Now, um, our government and other governments are trying to say that they can't get supplies through because um, of the war in Somalia. This is not true. Uh, they can get supplies through. They can get supplies through Kenya. They can get supplies through Ethiopia. And they can get supplies through Dadaab. Okay? There are laws that they have to deal with but they should have been dealt with, like Haiti, and they should have been getting water, food, and medical supplies three years ago when the drought started. So now 800,000 Africans have died, and for some reason, they're hiding behind Somalia's problems to say they can't get anything through to the refugee camps. This is not true. I'm not even going to read this poem. All I'm going to ask you to do is to please, please act now. Write your Congress, write your Senate, write the President, and demand action for these people in the refugee camps on the borders of Kenya. If they try to tell you they can't get supplies through, you can tell them they can get supplies through other countries than war-torn Somalia and that the drought has been going on for three years and 800,000 people have died and this is not, not the way to drop the population down in the world by cutting out the continent of Africa. This is vital. We are we are all equal in this country. We are all equal in this world. Please, act now. Do something. Write your Congress or Senate. Write the President. And tell him what I said, because it's true. And please ask them to send those supplies through other countries water, food, and medical supplies before more people die. I want to thank you very much for your time. Let's pray 
for world peace. Let's pray for these people in Africa who are suffering so deeply. And let's pray for everyone who is having a very hard time right now. I love you all. Peace out.